This video shows you how to create a part within Polsonics. This follows on from the schematic symbol creation and footprint creation videos and it now shows you how you can combine the symbol and footprints that you've already created and make a part out of them. To start let's click on the new button and we can then enter the part name which we can see on the Atmel datasheet. We then move down to the part description. Now I would always advise to keep this informative so that when you're searching it's obvious as to what the part is. Once you've finished entering this information we can move on to the part family section. This is an optional field which you can choose to type in a category which the Polsonics will then use to filter the part. So if I put EEPROM this part will then go into my EEPROM category. I can then enter the name stem and also the pin count which will be 8. Now we can type in the name of the footprint we created earlier which will be SOIC-8 and then move down to the symbol section and enter the pin count which will be 6 because we're having two ungated pins. We can then type in the name of the symbol that we also created in the previous video and then enter the two ungated pins. So if we search on the data sheet on the left hand side we can see that our power shall be pin number 8 and our ground will be pin number 4. Then we can press OK. We now come to the details tab. Here we can also add additional footprints. So if you had a device that you were creating that may use different size footprints you can add those here. The next tab brings us to the parts and attributes section. Here you can add additional attributes that you wish to be displayed on the part. This could be anything from value, price, or as an example, let's add the manufacturer's part number. You could also add additional information such as hyperlinks to a data sheet or anything else you think would be uh, valuable to have on your part. Now we can move to the pins page. Now I'll talk you through the final three columns. Starting with net names, this is where you put the name of the net for that pin. The next column along is for pin types. Here you can define pin types, which can then have rules set for them, which will be used in ERC in schematic capture, for example. Finally, we can look at the pin network column. Now, a pin network defines one or more components which must be connected to the pin when the part is used in the design. The network could therefore be used for bypass capacitors or termination resistors, for example. Now let's move on to the gates page where we can define the logic names for our parts. You can do this by typing them in or you could copy and paste them from an external source such as Excel. Now once we've completed this we can then move to the final tab which is the associated parts section. Here you can associate parts that you don't want to be included in the design but you want to be included in the bill of materials. For example, if we are creating a TO20, we might also wish to include the heat sink, nuts and bolts that would be present in this part when it comes to manufacture. Now let's save the part to our library. And that concludes the three part series of how to create parts within Polsonics. Thank you very much for watching.